No, darling. Come, 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 come. Come and stay with mommy. Come here. Oh. Ah. Come, yeah. mommy. Good boy. Uh -huh. You know, it's just amazing the way both of you get along. What do you mean? So, are you saying you were actually outside playing ball with this little boy? He's not a little boy, he's a big boy now, okay? <laughs> and we're just having fun out there. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, not, I'm not a small boy, I'm a big boy. Oh, yes, oh. Big boy. Uh, tell your mommy, it's just tell her, your mommy doesn't know that you're a big boy now, okay? You are mommy's little boy. Come here. You know you're tasty, and I know you're tasty, right? Huh? You're tasty. Let's go and get something. <laughs> what what would I be doing with a ball? Try and do something with it. something, okay? Alright, come to mommy, baby. Come, come. Bye. Come here. Good. Playtime is over. Hmm? So it's time to go to the study and do your homework. What did mommy say? And it's time to go to the study and do my homework. Good boy. Alright, so all roads lead to your study. But before that, give mommy a peck. Come here. Good boy. Come on. The bite. <laughs> High five. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. oh gosh. What? Look at that smile on your face. It's just amazing the way both of you get along. Like, I don't know, you know, you just, you accept divine like, is your own. Four guys actually walked out on me. Four. Because I opened up to them about my past. But you know, with you, it's just, it's, it's different. I can't really say. It just makes me appreciate you more. Who would have loved someone? Thank you. Who would have loved an intelligent boy like you? Maybe God answered my prayers. If not, how would I have met such an adorable woman like you? <laughs> Talking about God answering prayers, uh -huh. I think God actually answered my own prayers because you are the most wonderful person I've ever met. Plus, the most wonderful person God has created on this planet. <laughs> Martina, you know what? What? That guy is so lonely. Very lonely. So, so lonely. I think we should do something about that. Mm, something like this. Marry me. <laughs> Oh, come on, slow down. I'm what? Serious. Please. Marry me. Are you sure of what you're saying? Sure. Very sure. Like, you want to spend the rest of your lifetime with me? So they do us part. So, do you intend he stays with us after our wedding? <laughs> Is that supposed to be a question? Of course now, he's my son, so wherever I stay, that's where he stays. But he's not my son. What about Divine? Divine. You know, I've already accepted the wedding as my first child. My first son. 
and nothing is going to change that. Nothing can change it. And um, your people? My people. I am the one getting married to you and not my people, so you don't have any problem. My daughter has told me so much about you. Thank you sir. You're welcome. Thanks. Are you there? Yes, Daddy. Uh, is this the young man you told me that asked you? You had a marriage? Yes, Daddy. That's fine. Let's see. Um, what was your response? Daddy, I accepted. That's why I brought him home to come and meet you. I I can know you young. <laughs> I like that. Um, Iba, I guess that should be your name. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, are you aware that um, uh, she has a son? Yes, she did, sir. She, she told me about it. Okay. So, uh, you still want to go ahead? Yes, sir. Are your parents aware of this? Um, sir, you see, I, I love your daughter so much. I truly love her. Divine, divine is a, is a good boy. He's a lovely child. And I love him as a son. And my parents, I told my parents about it. They have no objection, sir. Well, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. Well, um, Imama, what do you want to say here? Well, I am so, so, so happy. Iba, my lovely daughter, Ariyama, may God bless you, in you. Amen. You'll be fruitful. Amen. God will grant your heart's desire. Amen. Amen. That is all I want to say. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pastor, pastor. <laughs> <laughs> pastor, Mrs. Uh... I'm 
I don't know what the problem is. I just noticed he's been behaving strange these few days. I mean, I'm equally as confused as you are. I don't know. No, no, I didn't do anything. Nothing.
yes, uh, Ibang, how are you? Okay. Is there anything in the offing? I see. You know, why I'm asking is, a few days back, you got married to my daughter. And now, you are asking me that I should fix a date for a meeting. That is why I'm asking. No, I, I, I have to ask because I, I, this thing is very strange. I hope there's no problem. Okay. Okay. All right. Coco, what did he say? Ibang just called me and said I should fix a date for the family meeting. And I don't know the purpose. That's why I'm worried. That man. That man. My daughter called me and told me that he has been behaving very strange since after their wedding night. If he doesn't want to marry her again, let him bring her back. We do not lack food in this house. Alphonse is sick enough, Francis. You know, he can know you. Woman. Woman. I don't know how you behave sometimes. Would you allow someone to treat your daughter like that? Two people living in the same house. Can they have problems? Can they have issues for them to handle? Allow them to settle their problem, Excuse please. Me. Will you allow somebody to mistreat your daughter? And why will he behave like that to her now, a day after the, 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 their marriage? Um, hello? Okay, okay, just hold on, eh? I'm just leaving the hospital now. You, you, you talked about three drinks, right? Doctor. Okay, okay, okay. Doctor, I'm doctor, coming. doctor. All right. Oh. Please, um, can I go with my wife now? Of course, of course. She, she's very free to go. But um, I actually gave some prescriptions to the nurses. Yeah? You have to... I'm sure when she's done taking those um, medications, she'll be fine. Okay, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Okay. I want to say, doctor, please, I want to say thank you very much for all what you've done. It's okay. But, but, but doctor, I have a problem. Doctor, why, why is it that my wife's case is so peculiar that at every seventh month, seventh month she must have a miscarriage. Why? I'm so confused. See, Mr. Teddy, I understand what you mean. Even me, myself, in my several years as a medical practitioner, I have never experienced such. Um, she is very, very sound. Her wounds, the linings of her wounds are very, very okay. I don't even, you know, get three children at the same time. You don't mean it. I really mean it. But you see, some of these things, we have to give it all to God. You pray, right? Okay. You should pray. Okay, I'm sure you. everything will be very all right. Thank you, doctor. Everything will be fine. I, I, her docket should be ready by now. Thank you very much, it's doctor. Okay. It's Thank okay. Thank you. Make sure she takes her drugs. Doctor, doctor, I will. I will. I will. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stop what the doctor has said. Stop what he says on you. I don't like this. Stop what he says. How can I find them? Uh, can you calm down when all is not well? This is the sixth pregnancy I've lost all that seven months with. I want you to calm down. Ted. Honey, I told you, calm down. Please, I beg you. You just have to calm down. You heard what the doctor said. Don't calm down and take your medications. We are not getting any younger. I know. I've told you to take another wife. Can you just take another wife? Don't go there. Don't. Don't ever go there. I am comfortable with you and I will do no such thing. I won't and I will never. Thank you very much. Please give me. I have paid, I've paid all of it, I've paid everything, right? And I've also collected the drugs of the pharmacy.
this thing will be okay. First take on the initials, and that's all. Oh, yeah, zero. <laughs> ah. Ban. Mama, thanks for that. I'm listening. I want to remind you of this. That you are only two. Your father is gone. Your sister is a reverend sister. And it's only you that will make the family name continue. I want to ask you, Ban, do you have any problem? And for me, I am going to ask you, Mama, do you have any problem? I don't have any problem. Let me tell you what I have heard of. In the village, in that our village, there is a rumor that you are using your unborn children for rituals. Let me ask you. Are you a ritualist? <laughs> Mama. Mama, I am I am so surprised that you could give in to such a rumor. Mama, see, I am not interested in any opinion that is formed by anybody. People can stay anywhere and form an opinion. But Mama, as long as I'm concerned, I am not really trying. And come to think of it, I'm so surprised that you are also listening to such a I am so desperate. What did I have done? It's not really that I believe them. That is why I'm asking you as a mother. I want to make a suggestion. Please, won't you think of taking another wife? It's a suggestion, if that is okay. And you've seen that I love my wife so much. I know that. I know it. And the doctor has told us that both of us don't have problems. Mama, that same God that gave me my wife, the same God who provides us with children when it's time comes. But Mama, I will not take another wife. I'm sorry, I am getting older. I need my grandchildren. I need to see them. Thank you, Mama. At God's appointed time. At God's appointed time. Where you are Jesus, 
Abasi meri yonga mwenye siya usong. Ebi ya kutu miru. Sohara. Mwenye siya usong eno ngin kichi usong eme baga abasi mbo. Ega mwara yin me. Mwenye mbo ebi wa o ngin tebu. Ado sendi yongo. Abasi. Jacob. Apa susah ni dem? Ayah siapa usah ini nanya? Butoro. Apa sih siapa usah? Father help us please. Apa sih yang ben pernah ini nanya? Aduh, mana yang? Let me ask you. Is there anybody you have offended in the past? Oh, kau dah nyem pon nama kita sevo. Aku nak kusir ini dem. That is what I have been asking her all this while. Oh, Abasi, Abasi, no, Abasi, I've not done anything to anybody's child. Namba yira wumbondo wogen mo mo Abasi. Father Lord, help me take away this shame and reproach away from me, Lord. Help me to carry my own grandchild, Lord. Help my daughter, the shame is too much. I must say, Yah, I'm here for. Father, have mercy on us. Lord Jesus, have mercy. For I need a grandchild, Lord. Let me carry my own grandchild, Lord. So, you know, I'm so scared you're going to walk by my wall. I'm going to walk by your wall. Oh, what a freedom. No, I'm so ready for it, no, yeah. Oh, my God. Have a seat, me. Yeah, I'll give a seat, my God. Have a seat, yeah, I'm going on, yeah. Even if I'm going on, have a seat, yeah, I'm going on, yeah. There is God. I want to tell you that God of yesterday. He's the same God today. He's going to help you. He will help us now. What are you doing there, Rebecca? I want to boil hot water so I can take my bath. You? Yes. Taking your bath with hot water? Yes, sir. You, as old as you are, you want to bath, take bath with hot, cold water, the hot water? What is wrong with me taking So you want to bathe with hot water? Yes. You? You, Becky? Abby, Rebecca? It is your children that are supposed to be bathing with hot water, not you. You are old enough to know what you want, Becky. I'll be Becky. Mama, what is your problem? Shut up! Don't talk when I'm talking! You're a stupid woman! Look at all the, the things you have been wasting. Look at Kukumba here. Right already! Look at Apu here. Flies on top of it. See, Gary here. Look at it. Eh? Keep it everything. See, I'm pepper. Keep it See, you cannot wash plates. You cannot arrange anything in this house. The only thing you know how to do well is to boil hot water and bath. But why won't you allow me to have one piece in this house? What, what is it? Peace? Yes. You will never know peace in this house until you give me my grandchildren. Look at them. Look at them. You cannot stop too much more. What, 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 what is it for you this morning? What is it now? It is it's your mother. I will just said to buy hot water this morning to take my bath. You know normally it, 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 it take my bath with hot water. Look at your mouth. She started her trouble. You know, 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 you're too old enough to do that. Mama, is it because I don't have a child? It's okay I will not now. I, 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 would, I, I would be I have one piece in my house. What is it? Do you have a house? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, allow her to talk to me. Allow her to talk to me. She's your wife. Honey. Honey, honey, honey you talk to your mother. Stop calling her, calling him names. Honey, talk to your mother. Honey is honey, a name of a person. A name of his son. Or his daughter, honey. Is honey a name of. Call him by his son or his daughter's name. She will not bow. Honey, look at you. Try it to the house. Let me show you better. Come on, just leave, leave me alone. What of you to eat the kitchen? Chop it, chop the kitchen. Stupid people. Honey, did you just say that? Oh, no, okay. Mother, I love it too.
face in this house. You know she's my mom. I can't do anything now. Where did I go wrong? Don't come. Where do you want to kill my children? Go with the children. I'm close to you. You are welcome. Thank you. I called you out for us to talk as women and as mothers. The problem we are facing is beyond human understanding. In as much as I am worried, I know you are worried too, or even more. My in-law, worry is an understatement. I'm deeply troubled. I can't close my eyes and sleep every night. I wet my pillow all the time. And I wonder, who I or my little girl has offended? I cannot have mercy on us. I don't know what to do to marry mercy and grace from God. You see, I have prayed. I have prayed. I have lamented. Under this circumstance, I wonder if there is still God. Hey, my in-law. No. No, my in-law. There is God. I want to assure you that there is God. Let him help us now. That God is still very powerful and strong. He will help us out. Now, um, there is this man of God that I was directed to see. And I know he's going to help us out of this problem. Will you have time so that we go to see him together? What do you mean, will you have time? What am I doing? Huh? What am I doing? I can't I have time to solve my children, my daughter's problem. Please, I'm fully ready. Take me down there. Take me, please. I'm ready. Never worry. Mama. Mama, come and open this door. Mama, come and open this door. I want to go inside. Mama, I'm tired of staying outside. Oh. Who are you? Who are you? I'm asking you. You will be there. No going in today. Mama, come and open this door. Mama, before they say I've insulted you, Mama, please, I'm begging you. Open this door. Let, let me go inside. You know you wouldn't try that. If you do, I will make sure you pack your belongings and leave this house. Yeah. Stupid girl. Mama, don't try my patience in this house, though, Mama. You want me to Mama, before you tell your son I insulted you, Mama, please. Mama, people, I'm really proud for you. Oh. Open this door. But Mama, Sister, welcome. You don't know what to do. Sister, can you believe that? I stood out to, to see off my friend. Okay. I did not even stay up to five minutes. Coming back, uh -huh. Mama walked me outside. Mama, uh, sorry, you said Mama did what? Mama looks virtually everywhere. My house? Yes. Mama, I've been standing out here for the past three hours. Mm, Mama, Mama, please. I'm sorry, good afternoon. Mama, please, can I have the key to the house? Which key? My house. I locked the door. You said your house? Yes. It is not your house. It's my son's home. Your mates are out there. Going for school run. Taking their children to school. Bringing them back at the appropriate time. 
all you know how to do is go out with your, your pocket handbag and be coming in at any time you feel like. Not in this house any longer. Not in this house, I am talking. Uh, Mama, please, oh, please. I'm, I'm just tired of all this. Can I have the key to my house? Who is your mother? So you don't know your mother any longer? This is the key. I will not give it to you. The key to my house? You don't have a house. Please, Mama, I'm sorry, please. Can I have the key? I want to... Please get away! Just get lost! You said a house! Of course, it's your house. This is my son's home. She doesn't belong here. Cash Routy, you does not belong to this house. Pack your load and leave! I can't I can't 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 for the wall. I am fed up. Mama, I'm going to leave this house. I'm fed up. Hey, 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 To death. What is it? Huh? It's a dream. A dream. A dream. It's a dream. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. What, what, what about the dream? What did you see in the dream? Huh? I thought you did it. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. You can't. Why this presentation? Um, sir, I know you all will be wondering why this presentation and this items is a thank you. To say a very big thank you to you for giving me a virgin as a wife. What? That's impossible. Alphonsus is an Alphonsus. That's hey, impossible. No, you can't him. <laughs> My daughter here has a son already by name Divine. I mean, why, why, why the issue of virginity here? That is a puzzle. That is a puzzle I have been trying to solve all this, all this while. It is putting me in a state of mixed feelings. That's this minute and I'm happy she's she's a virgin. And the next minute I I get so confused, like how? How how? Well the fine is my Life has an explanation to make. Madame. I am dying slowly. I am dying. <laughs> Man, I married my beloved husband. 
The man who practically worshipped the ground I worked on. He adored me. He loved me. Doesn't seem to care about me anymore. As I'm talking to you, IT, my husband has moved in with another woman. <laughs> Childless. His family supports him, and I don't blame them. My own family has abandoned me. They say that I am an embarrassment to my family <laughs> because in my family there is no history of childlessness or premature death. Look at me, I think. That's me. Calm down. Calm down, Lottie. But I don't understand it. What barrenness are you talking about? And who died prematurely? years ago, I think, about the time Tina got married, we met at law school. <laughs> After my marriage, a year later, I had a son, a beautiful baby. He died three months after birth. <laughs> of finding it. It's been years. Look at me. Just look at me. An accomplished lawyer. A son. But what do I have to show for it? I have no one. I am all alone in this world. I'm dying. <laughs> Here to relax. It's sorry, okay. Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. Sit down. Sit I'm sorry. Down. I hope I. Sit down. No, don't be afraid. Just sit down. Don't be afraid. Sit down. Sit 
What is the matter? What on earth is making you cry this much? Huh? I know I don't have the right to invade your privacy. Neither do I have the right to question your expression. But it breaks my heart to see you cry like this. Which means whatever that is making you cry in this manner is serious. I will appreciate it if you put me on the norm. But it is okay if you don't want to talk about it. I will respect your decision. Okay? Who are you? I am Stanley. Stanley. I can't seem to get a hold on my sanity anymore. I'm losing my mind. I've had six miscarriages. All at seven months age. After years of marriage. I can't bear seeing my husband be so miserable. I can't tell you, I can't. Oh, God. It's okay, it's okay. And you know what, Sarah, Sarah in the Bible, her own case was worse than this. But God still visited her. You have cried enough for one day, my dear. And I want you to confess all your sins to God. If possible, confess to those who you may have wronged. With supplication, thanksgiving, make your request known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses every other human understanding, will guide you through. Okay? That is what the book of Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 7 says. Okay? So do not worry. Every Saturday, I do come here from 4 p.m. to have, you know, enjoy the wonderful walk of nature. So, if you don't mind, you can join me. I can give you one or two advice. Okay? So, stop crying. It is well, all right? Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. I'm grateful. Okay. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. Did you say Friday? Oh. Oh, yeah, I'm in the Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Look, uh, Somebody will not see this house. Oh, when you hear my mouth for no no, hmm? what are you doing here? Sitting down, watching TV, using remote to be doing this, to be doing that. What are your children supposed to be doing? Are you not ashamed of yourself, Rebecca? <laughs> I am asking you, are you not ashamed of yourself? Huh? Where are my grandchildren, Rebecca? Give me grandchildren, I want to carry them. Mama, 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 mama please. Hey. What is it again? What is it again? Please, I'm sorry to disappoint you. 
You are disappointing yourself. You are even disappointed already. It is you that is disappointing yourself. You, you are a troublemaker. I told my son not to marry you. Ever since I sat my eyes on you, I know that you are a troublemaker. You, you came here to retire yourself. Casualty. Doing nothing, eating food, that is all you know how to, how, how to do best. Eating food, cook food, drink tea, go to the bathroom, take your bed, bear, uh, your bed. Stupid girl. So you don't know what you want to do. Come on, you this I am talking and you are still, you still want to operate. You don't want? Eh? This is my son's home and not your own. Do you have any contribution in this house? Stupid. Uh, Shut up! I am talking to you. Oh, oh, you come, 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 mama. Are you trying to order me in my own house? You in my own house? It's my son's house. This place belongs nowhere with you. <laughs> this place belongs nowhere for you. So you're supposed to pack your load and leave this place. Stop retiring yourself in my son's house, casualty. Pack your load and leave. Only God knows what you have been doing in your home with my grandchildren. Mama, eating them one after the other. But I'm telling you that the evil that men do lives within them. You will suffer for it. Eh? Mama, so, so okay, no? what is it? You don't know. Eh? You don't know. Why won't you let me be? I won't. Won't you give me my grandchildren? My God. You are not God, but God will punish you. The evil that men do lives within them. Using my grandchildren to cook your ipan kuku abi ipan or what? Or your ass and soup, idiot. You think I don't know? Once I open my eyes to pray to God, God will open my dot sight and will see everything and I've been seeing everything. That is why I say the evil that men do lives within them. Can't you see the hand right on the wall? Yeah? Four years, you refuse picking up pregnancy again because you're afraid to die. If you die today, you die early. Cheer up, girl. I feel your pains. Well, let me ask you. Do you think you know the cause? Or is there something that is out of the ordinary? I don't know. Not really. But there's this recurring dream that I have often. Okay. What is it? My friends, children chase me. They beat me up. They shout. You, you don't deserve it. What? And even in real life, you won't believe it. Children reject me everywhere I go. It's okay. It's okay. They yeah. scorn me openly. It's okay. Uh, let me ask you something. Have you ever wronged the innocent before? Or have you committed a portion before? I think you know how it was back in the day in school. Yeah, there, was a, there were a few accidents. But I got them flushed out. And I did it with the best doctors. From all the tests my husband and I have carried out, the test results say there is nothing wrong with me. That my womb is intact. So why can't I, I have children? All of us gone. All of us gone to our prison. I have suffered. I know, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I'll schedule an appointment for you next week. Okay. With our most senior gynecologist. Okay. She's an expatriate. Okay. Yes. So don't worry. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So, so tell me, um, what, what about the um, rest of the famous classic four? Are you still in touch with them? Yes, we're still in contact. But it's really a shame. We are all in the same shoes. You won't believe it. Mama got married several years ago. And she has had Six miscarriages. What? Six! Oh my god. 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 Oh my god
No child. Becky. <laughs> Becky has had four stillbirths. She decided she wasn't going to get pregnant again and her in-laws are seriously pressurizing her husband to take a second wife. Don't say it. God. In this day and age, Alice was also married. She was doing well with her husband in London. But as I'm talking to you now, Alice is back home. Her husband says she's barren. So he got married to another woman who would bear him children. Alice had to come home because she couldn't bear the shame. <laughs> Me? You already know my story. You see? You mean all these happened to the famous classic four? God! Enough about the classic four and our wahala. Let's talk about you. And your best friend Martina are <laughs> you guys still together yes you see often how is she the last time I saw her was in a legal meeting some months ago do we didn't greet <laughs> Martina is doing very well she's married yes in fact her, her first son is now a reverend father it's a lie are you kidding me oh my goodness Reverend Father! Oh, so nice! <laughs> yes. And I'm also married too. And God has blessed us with two kids. I'm happy for you. You guys are just so blessed. <sighs> this is why I have begged God. I have asked God to please give me one child just one even if you were blind or crippled i don't mind is that too much to ask is that too much to ask enough of this challenge why would you say a thing like that the bible says ask and it shall be given unto you if god gives you a, a, a cripple as a child would you be happy would you be happy to give birth to such so calm down Charlotte, Charlotte, calm down god is on the floor he is not asleep okay just believe he is watching he is not asleep brooding throughout last week you didn't go to work and this week you were supposed to start work but I was only told by your mate that you are in here what's the sense in working mama what's the sense in working my mates are out there working to feed train cater for their children my own what am I working for huh? Who am I working for? Please, Mama, give me a break. My daughter, you can only have that break when you go out there and interact with people. Eh? Locking yourself up here in this room would do you no good. It would do you no good. Anyway, we came here to discuss something very important with you. My daughter, me and your mother-in-law, we are just coming back from seeing the pastor on your behalf. So, what was the outcome of the meeting? After talking with the pastor, telling him everything about your problem, he prayed with us for you and your husband. After the prayer, 
the pastor said that the Lord had revealed to him that you, my daughter, you wronged the innocent. The innocents. Yes, the innocents. What's the innocent? Is it the name of a person or, or something? Why, me? That's my daughter. We do not know. But the man of God told us that the answer to this problem lies in your past. So examine your conscience and think seriously over it. It will do all of us good. Adiyama, please my daughter, try and remember. I beg you, try and remember. At least we can take up from there. Please my daughter, please. Mm. Uh, before we leave, you know, I think you remember that uh, your mother is going back to the village. And I cannot stop going to the church. You know that I'm the secretary and I, I have to be in church. And you just, you, being alone in the house does not mean that you should sit down and be brooding and thinking and crying. Please, I am begging you. In me, Mbo. Walk for Biampo so that I found you for coming, baby. Thank you. Oh, darling, you're welcome. Thank you. You got me scared. I tried all your lines, they were all. You didn't tell me we we're coming back this way. Oh, baby. I guess you might be. Talking. Honey, I'm talking to you. Oh, please, help me take this bag in. What? Don't you dare humiliate me. Who is she? And uh, why bringing her here? Please, Becky, I beg you, in the name of God, don't stand on my way. Else. Else what? Else what? For Christ's sake, this is my house, and I have every right to know who you are bringing into my house. This woman you call a stranger is my second wife. Eh? As a matter of fact, she's already pregnant for me. And very soon, she's going to give birth to a bouncing baby boy. Second what? Wife. Um, darling, please, I'm Did tired. Did you say she's pregnant? Pregnant. Well then, my dear husband, let me assure you that that can only happen over my dead body. Better. Oh, mommy. Over your dead hey. body, indeed. Hey, you're welcome. Mommy. Yeah? Mm -hmm. This is my the lady dear. I told you about. She's Ogadima. How? Ogadima, Mwamu. Ogadima, you're welcome. Hey, Ogadima. Oh, this is going to manage this well. You're welcome, oh. Please, please, please come and hug me. You're welcome, oh. This is your home. Your home, not your house. It's your home. Give me your bag, let me carry it for you. No, 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 Mama, don't worry. I should not carry it. Yes, no, no. Mama, look at one pim pim, 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 Hey, you're welcome, oh. Thank you. Now you can prove yourself. You behave like your father. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to. Let me reserve my comment. You are a man, a son of his mother. Hey, this is your home. Thank you, Mama. This is your home, not your house, oh. It's your home. Please, let's go.
deserve a better woman than I am. Uh -oh. I have to leave. I can't stand seeing him going through all that he's been going through because of me. <sighs> so I decided to leave. And you think leaving is the best thing to do at this time? He loves you, come on. Mm -hmm. I think it is. Yeah. You say so? Not okay. the meaning of this? Mm -hmm. oh. Were you involved in an accident or something? No. So how did this happen? Ma, I had no accident. The only accident I have That I kill my children. What? Killing your children? How do you mean? My sister. Her beloved husband, Kokoite, what? Came home with another woman whom he claims is pregnant for him. <laughs> and when my sister here tried to resist, Kukuite gave her the beatings of her life. She ended up like this. Jesus Christ. Child lessons. That is what you see. It's okay. When will all girl. this talk? Okay. Come here. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. But you shouldn't have resisted now. Oh, huh? Look at okay. what you've done to yourself. I'm sorry. Oh. Thank you. Isn't it obvious? God has abandoned us to our fate. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Leave it an empty. Leave it an empty. Come on, girl. Stop this. We'll come out of it. 